Today we're going to show you how to set up port forwarding on a Sky router. If you don't know what your router's IP address is, we can use a command prompt which is usually found if you press start or select the option for run and type in cmd and enter or if you press start there will be a little search box above your start button which you can type cmd and enter will bring you this screen. And what we're going to do is we're going to type in ipconfig. And what we're after is the default gateway address, which typically will be 192.168.0.1 or 1.1, depending on what version or if anybody's changed any details. Once you've got that details, go to your web browser and type in that IP address, which should bring you to your login screen of your router. For Sky, your default username and password is admin, and Sky is your password. Once you've logged in, if you click on the security tab and go to services first, we're going to create a custom service. With most DVRs, you'll actually find out in the programming of the manual what port it actually uses for its web server. Once you've got that information, then we can enter that here. So we'll call it web server. We'll do it as a TCP because it's going over the web browser. And let's just say we'll use 3000 as the port. Once you're happy with that, we'll click on apply. What that's doing now is that's creating a rule within the router to say that we're going to allow 3000, but now I need to tell it what to do with something when it uses port 3000 and it's trying to come back through the router. So now we're going to create a firewall rule. The firewall rule is that we tell it now what to do if anything comes in on port 3000, what to do with it. So it's an inbound service, so we're going to add a new inbound service. For this, we're going to need to know the IP address that you've actually put into your DVR or your recorder. So the ideal thing to do is actually set one in it and don't leave it as a DHCP. Because if your IP address changes, this forwarding won't work anymore. So what we're going to do from the service here, as we've just created one, if you remember, we're going to find it in this list here, which is that's the one that we've just created. We're going to send it to the LAN server. This is going to be the IP address of your router, uh, your DVR, sorry. That's why it's important that you need to know this. And we're going to allow it all the time because you never know when you're going to need to do it. And then we can click on apply. So what we've done is we've created a service which is basically telling it that if something comes in using port 3000 then it knows that anything that comes in on port 3000 is going to be directed to the local IP address of your CCTV recorder. You should find now that if you try and access where it is you're trying to do remotely should work now and when you're happy with that, we're going to click on apply and that will save it for you. That is your port forwarding setup on your Sky Reader. Thanks for watching.